Good evening, I'm Sean Maroney. And I'm Sharon Taswell. Thanks for joining us. We begin with breaking news. Calls for change tonight from Governor McCrory on House Bill 2. Late this afternoon, the governor issued an executive order where he's asking lawmakers to reverse part of the controversial new law. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick joins us live from the General Assembly to explain. Bo? Sean, the pressure has mounted since the passage of House Bill 2, and today the governor said that he wanted to affirm and improve the state's commitment to both privacy and equality. I know these actions will not totally satisfy everyone, but the vast majority of our citizens want common sense solutions to complex issues. This is the North Carolina way. That from a video that the governor posted, McCrory's executive order expands the state's employment policy for state employees. So for those people, it would cover sexual orientation and gender identity. He also is seeking legislation from the General Assembly to reinstate the right to sue in state court for discrimination. We got reaction a short time ago here from lawmakers at the General Assembly. The governor has raised that as an issue to allow those causes of action to be uh, brought into state court. Uh, I think that that's uh, a reasonable request uh, on behalf of the governor. He has done somewhat of a walk back, um, but I am hesitant to call this any kind of a victory for the uh, populations that were uh, harmed in the passage of that bill. Now, ahead at 6, you're going to hear from an LGBT advocate on what they think that this means for this issue. And you'll, we'll also take a closer look at ultimately what changes this actually does make to House Bill 2. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick, CBS North Carolina. All right, Bo, before we let you go, now that the governor has issued this executive order, what is next for those already in the process of opposing the legislation? Well, really, at this point, we're obviously just a few hours old since this executive order happened. So really, all parties from all sides right now, I guarantee you there are plenty of attorneys that are going through this executive order right now and piecing together exactly what it does mean. We still have the federal lawsuit that is pending, and this, at this point, has not certainly changed that. And opponents to HB2... Many of them that I have spoken with over the past few weeks, they have not necessarily just called for change to House Bill 2. They are still calling for repeal. All right, just the start of what's turning out to be an even longer process. All right, Bo Minnick reporting live from General Assembly. Bo, thank you. And Attorney General and Democratic gubernatorial candidate Roy Cooper responded tonight with his own statement, in part saying the executive order is, quote, a day late and a veto short. He goes on to say, quote, the truth is this executive order doesn't change the fact that HB2 has written discrimination into the law. Now, despite